perfect way to get outside with your family and get the energy out of your children. Howard April, he's a park naturalist with the Weir Nature Center. He brought us some of his slithering friends <laughs> to show how you can get up close and personal with some of the best. Tell me about the one in your hand. Very special endangered species, 40 years old. She, at least, at least. This is Boxy. She's an ornate box turtle. And ornate box turtles are actually found in southwest Wisconsin. There aren't as many as there used to be, though, because uh, for two main reasons, the plow and the cow. Uh, uh, due to agriculture and conversion of land to pasture and, and development. Uh, they just don't have as much of a habitat as they used to, so there aren't as many box turtles as there used to be. You told me that this little one goes to um, elderly living homes, elementary schools. She really, you know, is an ambassador to your organization. That's exactly what it is. She's part of our animal ambassador program. So she goes out and she teaches people about reptiles and amphibians. Um, also, there are thousands of school children that come to Wear Nature Center every year. They get a chance to meet Boxy, along with their other reptiles and amphibians that are part of our animal ambassador program. You know, and the children will get up close and personal with some of these animals. And you also have some Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Can I even touch that? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> They're going to be able to get up close and personal tomorrow with all different types of, of both native species and exotic species. Um, and then we're also going to have all types of different types of artifacts that they can see and touch. Uh, for instance, you're welcome to touch that. That's a, a snake skin from a native Wisconsin species, a bull snake. It feels like plastic. It, it does. And it, snakes grow throughout their entire lives. So they're always, they're always shedding. And these are just some of the things that they can learn about at Reptile Day. And you know, you told me you have certain goals for when the children come in, including proper pet ownership. Correct, you know, <clears throat> we, reptiles and amphibians, some of them can be awesome pets, but we really recommend it for the most part, stick with dogs and cats, because for instance, Boxy, she could live to be 50, 60 years old, and uh, a lot of families just aren't equipped for that type of commitment. Right. And sh the one thing that she eats, she eats cactus. In her native habitat, she eats... In Wisconsin? I in, didn't... in Wisconsin, there's a native species of cactus. Wow, but uh, she's actually an omnivore, meaning she both eats both plants and she also eats uh, worms and uh, insects and other critters. All right. Reptile Day is taking place at the where the where nature center tomorrow from one to four we have the nature center's website and details on reptile date in the link section of our website tmj4.com tomorrow from one to four p.m thank you so much for waking up with us and thank you boxy thank i really you. appreciate it